Hey everyone, I'm Steve Nelson and you're watching the 4 Minute Film School. Now you might be saying, hey, where's Weekend Extra? Well, it's gone and it's never ever except maybe one day gonna come back. The whole point of the show is to teach filmmaking lessons in 4 minutes. And hopefully you guys learn something or else we fail. If you do learn something, we pass. So let's start the clock. Writing your script can be extremely difficult, from all the technical mumbo jumbo that you have to memorize to, well, coming up with an idea. But don't hang yourself just yet because Indie Mogul is here to help. But you can hang yourself after we get your precious YouTube views. We'll even give you the noose! It's probably really inappropriate, isn't it? <clears throat> So you ready to talk yet? I'll never talk to you, you filthy pig. I'm gonna give you one last chance before things get really painful. Do your worst. Tell me where the missiles are! Puppies! We're in sunglasses, I know. I love this episode! See missiles? They're at the South Dock. Crepe Jail 332. It's I can't! It's so cute! It, it hurts! It hurts! Now to get things off the ground, you're going to need a script writing program. Caltex is an awesome program that makes it easy to format, write, and share your script with all your friends or business associates. Now there are a ton of rules when it comes to script writing, and most of them contradict one another. So what we're going to do on the show for you today is give you the most basic information that you need to know to make a script that you and your friends can make a movie out of, because f**k Hollywood. Here are the primary parts that make up a script. First, you have the scene heading, telling us where the characters are, followed by the action, and then the character and his or her dialogue. And a parenthetical basically tells your actor how to say his lines, because actors went to school to learn how to read scripts, not to think for themselves. So let's tell them what to do and how to do it. And finally, an extension is used to indicate whether the character speaking is present or not. If it says VO next to the character's name, it means voiceover, and they're not present, they're just narrating. Like I am right now. Where am I? Now that you know how to write a script, you need to come up with an idea. And if you have trouble coming up with ideas, all you really need to do is start getting your brain running and your creative juices flowing. And the easiest way to do that is by watching other movies, like silent films and musicals, you know, movies you might never actually give a chance, or listen to different styles of music, read books, learn about other cultures. You need to get concepts and ideas flowing through your mind to be able to come up with your own original ideas and concepts. Now because Indie Mogul is all about filmmaking, I came up with a list of movies, whether it's you know their look or the dialogue, something about it that really inspired me and got my creative juices flowing. These movies are Night of the Hunter, A Pure Formality, Rushmore, Metropolis, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, and Cinema Paradiso. When working on your project, remember that you're writing for an audience and you can maintain their interest with good plot structure or grotesque amounts of nudity, violence, and cursing. But if you want good plot structure, I'd also recommend picking up the book Aristotle's Poetics for Screenwriters. And now here's some tips on script writing from the members of the Indie Mogul Forum. Brid Boy Raw says, make sure you always draft at least three times. Write your first draft, read it, give it to a few core people and get them to read it and take pointers from them. Then a week later, read it again with your new outlook and repeat the entire process. Honey Bunch Films wrote, before I read a script, I usually brainstorm and write an entire page for each character. Once I flesh them out and they feel real, then I can write something that I feel is good. To which Black Diamond adds, even information that would never come up in the film. It helps make them a real person. Geronimus says, definitely mention the one minute a page thing. That's usually the purpose of formatted script writing other than being a format everyone should be able to understand. Now you're fully prepared to write your great script. Here's a dramatization of what will happen if you send it to a Hollywood studio. I can't believe these people actually think we're gonna read these scripts. Stupid kids. Why? <laughs> I recommend making your movies yourself. That'll wrap up the very first episode of the 4 Minute Film School. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And in the future, we can't wait to see your four-minute lessons and see if you can teach us something in that time. Have a good day.